treats cold salt in the wounds of the earth. It's a, it's a 12 minute through composed mandolin and voice piece. Uh, sort of serves as a meditation on a strange bit of fictional apologetics written by C.S. Lewis called The Screwtape Letters. Uh, and I wrote it and recorded it because I love money. <laughs> <laughs> and I realized that the shortest, most direct path between me and it was a 12 minute through composed <laughs> and a voice piece that was a reflection slash meditation on C.S. Lewis's The Screwtape Letters. <laughs> I mean, Hey, here we are, mission accomplished, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was a feel good hit of the summer. It's why you're here. And, and don't worry, I, I won't be mad at all if you can't refrain from singing along. <laughs> but you know, try. Okay? Okay? Just try. Uh, who here has read the, the screw tape letters? <laughs> I would call that a smattering. <laughs> a smattering. For those of you who have not read the screw tape letters, don't worry about it. <laughs> First and foremost. But here, it'll have, knowing a little something about it might help you uh, over the course of the next 12 minutes. Um, it, Lewis says in the, in the foreword, I intercepted correspondence between two demons. One of the demons is a senior demon, Screwtape. The other demon, his understudy, and also his nephew, Wormwood. And they are corresponding about best practices in the fine art of soul corruption. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gold. It's gold! Uh, and so I'm sitting there going, Gosh, I mean, a modern sort of musing on that is just the lowest hanging fruit. How am I the first person? <laughs> <laughs> I want to borrow something that Lewis says in the foreword. That he says very clearly, these are not my words. <laughs> he knew his audience. <laughs> uh, I also want to say that while, you know, I mean, I have all oh, the lines have blurred right over the last year and a half. There's us, there's our demons, who's really <laughs> But my voice is not playing the part of me. Okay? It's playing the part of something, I hope, more infernal. And it is my mandolin that is playing the part of me. I won't always be flattering, by the way. So hug her down.
sin is proud. A torch for the saint to bear through the darkness. Over all of the sinners, never won't keep you distance. Jesus tells us children to be in love and to protect our minds.
take a couple bean breaths. Everybody who needs to pass the law is no one loses, and that no one should be 